Hey everyone, Nick here again, and this is our next video in the series about how to analyze your zip codes. And in our previous video, we worked with our zip code list and the database that we created using VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP formulas here to look at city, county, and state information from our zip code list. And we inserted pivot table, we uh, pivot tables to analyze and summarize that data. And I have the one up here for our state, but I wanted to sort of show you another aspect, another little addition that you can make to your pivot tables to give a little bit more information. So right here, this tells us how many zip codes are from Michigan. We have 24. How many are from Colorado? We have two, two from Washington and two from New York. Now, what if I had a lot more data than this? Now, I only have 30 zip codes, but what if you have 100,000 zip codes? You know, knowing the counts, knowing the number of zip codes that you have or the number of states that you have, within uh, those zip codes, that might be less informative than to know what proportion of zip codes comes from each of these states, and that is percentages. So you can actually do a little addition to the pivot table here, and you have to make that addition to the values uh, box or over here. Right here on the bottom right, right here we have the count, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add another value down here, and I'm going to create that uh, so that it shows us the percentage of uh, those zip codes there. So let's go up here to our pivot table fields, and we're just going to go ahead and add another. Uh, we're going to add that same um, ID column. Now you can see it already updated, so I have now my count, and then it says again, by default, it always gives me sum, but the sum of those zip codes is really meaningless because it's just taking all of those counts and adding them. So what I want to do again is work with the drop-down menu here in the values of, this, of the new um, the new value that I added. Just click on the drop down menu, go to value field settings, and now instead of sum, I'm going to switch to count, and then I'm going to say show values as. Go to this little tab right here, and now it says no calculation, but I want it to show values as the percentage of the column total. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click that, and then I'm going to click OK. And now you see it gives me the percentage of zip codes from those states. And you can see it's uh, by default, it gives me two decimal places here. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight all of those data here. I just don't really need those um, decimal places. So I'm just going to go up here and click on the little percent sign under the number. And when I do that, it automatically gives me just uh, zero uh, decimals after that. So it's just rounded right here, really nice. So I can see that 80% of my zip codes are from Michigan, 7% then from Colorado, Washington, and New York. And I don't have any missing spaces, so I don't have any uh, blank rows of data. So there is a little trick that you can do to add on to your pivot tables to give you just a little bit more information. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Every time you do, you'll get notifications for new videos on data design, Excel, and PowerPoint tutorials. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.